welcome to this video number eight and welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you find something here you can connect to, um, something here you can enjoy as well. And today's subject is going to be really hard to put in three minutes, but I'm going to try. It's about the relationship between science and capitalism. Often we have this idea that science or the scientific community like lives in this tower where the purpose in our society is to produce nothing but the truth in order for us to have information to navigate our daily day problems or just life from. But that's not always the case. Um, science or the scientific community is not removed from everything else that affects us like capitalism, like politics and also like, yeah, like private agendas and motives. So when scientists, especially scientists that depend on funding, funding to do their research, that depend on being employed by companies to do their research, sometimes what kind of research results come out of that um, are very much under pressure because, for example, if a company pays for a scientist to talk about or to produce information about their product, the scientist is supposed to find findings, let's say if it's a pharmaceutical company, um, findings that support um, the company, that advance it in the competitive market that it's in. If you're not getting private funding or if you're not an independent scientist, you can be funded by the government. But that would also have to say that governments are also neutral in the play of science, right? What funding comes from that way is also influenced, of course, by lobbyists, by everybody else who might be interested in, in directing science to their advantage. So I wanted to talk about this that because often we treat science like a sort of religion, to be honest, but a more flexible religion because it's based on theory. And we have this notion that it well is science says so it must be true, but it's not always the case because there's a lot of things behind science that have influenced science and scientists that we do not know about that influence the kind of research and results that we get. Anyway, I just wanted to put this out there that obviously while science can benefit society, especially in a direct democratic um, society where we can vote directly for which kind of funding our tax monies can go to and which kind of um, results would benefit us as a population instead of like private interests, I think it's just great to put it out there that people should be of course more mindful of that, that Science is not neutral and we shouldn't treat it like a god, like a, an absolute truth because it definitely isn't. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye! That's part of growing up, um, that's part of expanding and that's absolutely okay as well.